Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to Saturday, May the 6th, which happens to be my birthday. And it's very early in the morning. It's still dark outside. But I thought I'd do a quick video on some of the gifts I've received from my Yarny friends and subscribers. Um, not my family, they're still all asleep. Because um, I've got a busy day ahead. I start off very early at the hairdressers getting my wisdom highlights fixed. I don't want people thinking I'm too smart and um, maybe a birthday lunch rather than a birthday dinner because we've got some plans for the night as well. So would you like to see what some of my Yarny friends have sent me which has been really lovely. Um, I have a Ravelry pattern wish list which is usually there for my family but a couple of the ladies went on and bought some patterns. Um, so the first one was from Karen in the US. Thank you, Karen, very much. Um, blown me away. I haven't replied to the emails yet because I thought I'd share them first and then say a private message to you. You'll have to ignore what's on the top of this. It's from an old work sleeve. There you go. That is the Summer Sorrel Top by Wood and Pine. Of course, a paid-for pattern. I had that in my wish list a few weeks. I'd really like to give that a go. And yes, I think I'll be wearing, making some more wearables this year for the rest of the year. Let's hope so. But that is lovely. Um, I've been looking through it. It might be easier than another one that I have, but we will see. She also sent me this, which blew me away. Um, because for those who've been with me for a while, and you've, lovely to have you on board, the new subscribers, I'm going to the UK in August and I'm heading up to Scotland, Edinburgh in particular. And she gave me Nesta the Loch Ness Monster Amigurumi pattern as a gift. Isn't he cute? He was in my wish list. And yes, I do think I should maybe make him and take him on a holiday to Edinburgh. What do you think? He's very cute. So that was the first two patterns I received. And thank you, Karen. It's really nice of you. You're always... So kind and generous, even with your comments. So moving on to Karen in Adelaide, who's always amazing with her comments and encouragement and giving me some tips. She bought me some patterns for my birthday, which blew me away. So for a while, we've had both, both of us have had this in our um, Ravelry wish list or favorites. And um, she's actually just recently finished it and looks awesome. And yes. It is the ZZ Block and Ziggy pattern by Zine and Rogers. Now, I think it might be Gail who recommended this quite a while ago, and I put it in my favourites. Now that I have the pattern, I was looking in my yarn stock to see what I could make it with, because I think it's really great. What do you think? That's an awesome pattern. So, yeah, we will see. I know... Um, Karen, Karen's turned out really great. Now, I will be later today on the 6th drawing the winners of the Ukraine sock designer patterns for the sock along to start on the 9th of May with the British channels. And, she's, and Karen picked me a Ukraine designer sock by 60G. It's D19E Eco Friendly Life is the Etsy store. It's on Ravelry too, but that's the sock, the 60G. Now, that's a bit more challenging than I've ever made before. It's called a twisted rib. I don't know if I'll make this for the make along or another one by, I think it's the same designer. But yes, I'd like to give it a go. It could take me all year to knit two socks though. What do you think? Have you ever done a twisted rib and is it as hard as it sounds? But I really do like the pattern and I thank you very much, Karen, for thinking of me. Very kind, very generous. It's really lovely. So that's four new patterns to go in my pattern book that I should be making. So remember I told you, the boys have given me last night before I went to bed so I could do an early video, all the stuff that Barbara Leinhardt sent me from the US, which absolutely blew me away. There is so much here, but I am going to share it with you. So this one 
isn't in a plastic bag and Reeves is really curious about this when he wakes up because he's got a feeling he knows what it is. So there'll be a lot of paper rustling. I'll just rip them open. It's all this... <laughs> he knew. I reckon he knew. There's no tears in it, but it is. <gasps> he's not getting them all. I'll share them with him when we're watching the Grand Prix because it's in Miami this week. Except we have to watch it about four or five o'clock in the morning. Cherry Twizzlers. We cannot get Cherry Twizzlers here. And they are Reeves' favourite. There's a little note here. Enjoy, I found them Reeves. I think they're for him. But he's gonna, I'm going to say to him, you get to share them with me. Barbara, that is so kind of you to hunt those down. He only ever got them once here, and ever since he's had to settle for every other flavour. So then we have this one, which I'm curious about. We keep all these Ziploc bags, they come in really handy. Like I said, they will be paper rustling, but I make no excuses. This has a note. I couldn't resist the need of candy from Hers Hersey. It's close to where she grew up and Pete's. 33 years and she has sent me all this candy from Hershey's and Pete's. Look at those. I won't take them all out. Tic Tacs that definitely look different to ours. Oh, they look like Hershey's Kisses, yes. We can get the those here, but they're really expensive at the special um, lolly shop there. So some more candy. We'll be having a lot of candy while we're watching the Grand Prix. So then we have this bag. We've lost a couple of little things in it. This, one. this says smile. Oh, this is awesome. A little notepad. This will be so handy in my bag when I take my work project with me. I'm always scratching around for post-its at work. That is lovely. Awesome. You can never get them that small here. And this one is waxed dental floss. There's a note in with this. My secret yarn threader. Oh, she's giving me an instruction. It's her secret yarn threader. How to thread a needle when your eyes are. That's so awesome. Even instructions on how to thread my needle. I'm going to try that. I've been struggling lately to, um, to sew in the ends without a big needle. Some of the finer ones on the Stephen West Shaw, they didn't really need the big needle. And now there's this one. We'll open this. These look and a little bit of Florida. Manatee, swim in the harbour where we have our sailboat. I'd really like to go to Florida. To be quite honest, I'd love to go to the Miami Grand Prix. But I reckon it'd be a madhouse that time. And I'm not really great with crowds. That's why I tend to pick the the wrong times as my son in the UK says you always come at the wrong time of year um, but I prefer not to be with the tourist crowds I can't find how it's stuck down to open it it's got to be here somewhere I shouldn't do that I know I'm visiting the dentist as well before I go away <laughs> oh wow that's awesome look Look at the manatees. That's not, we do, up at Port Douglas, you will see something similar. 
um, swimming near the jetty if you're really lucky. What a great project bag. Isn't that awesome? So cute. So that's that one. And then this one, I'm left for last. I have a feeling it's yarn. And I'm, I'm wrapped because the last yarn, the really pink that Barbara sent me, I have been using it, but it's in a project where I like the project, but the bobbles, it's all bobble stitches. And my hands, my right hand especially, because I use the um, numeric keypad a lot, a lot at work, aches. It will take me forever to finish this amigurumi, but it was the perfect colour. <gasps> Look at this. Red Heart Super Saver Colour Block. An absolutely great colour. There's two. I'll just say that. Two. I have to look. Colour block. I've not seen that here. That's what the scarf looks like on the back. Beautiful bright colours, which is seems to be we don't get a lot of bright colours here. Hot mix, it's called. And there's two of those. That is absolutely... Oh. I like Red Heart a lot. It's, I don't know, it's about $21 a ball here. So even if you say 50% exchange rate, that's like $10, $12 a ball. It really, the price really skyrocketed during um, COVID and it's not come down. But I have not seen Colour Block. Any of you Aussie girls, if you've seen Colour Block anywhere that you can get it, besides American yarns that we order through locally or in Australia let me know because I've never seen the colour block is that awesome so that is the start of my birthday gifts for the day which has really put a smile on my face as you can tell I am looking forward to just having a great family day um, we do a wish list on the fridge for birthdays and Christmas and that gives the boys an indication of some of the things they could buy me or I can buy them. We don't buy everything. I don't think I'm getting a new Ferrari. Um, I did put that on there, but that, as things said, that's a bit beyond the budget. <laughs> Not that I would drive it. I'd need a chauffeur to drive me around. So it's going to be a great weekend. I have the Miami Grand Prix to watch with Reeves, and we really enjoy that, even though we have to get up like 5 in the mo Monday morning and watch it and then go to work. But there are the practice sessions, which are like four in the morning. But that's the fun of a Formula One Grand Prix. Um, and I have had fun looking at the Meta Gala, uh, Metropolitan Gala photos, especially, especially Daniel Ricciardo, uh, Honey Badger. He was a big hit and he looked really great. Um, great personality. It was great seeing him there. And yeah, um, what else? Lunch. I had coffee with Emma's mum today. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, it should be a great weekend. I've got to do the pattern draw for the sock along, which is a bit of a downer for me, but maybe I'll explain that when I do the draw. And of course, it's King Charles's coronation in the UK. So it's an exciting time for them. Um, it's 70 years since the coronation. And when you think how many coronations over the years in the UK, the history, even if you're not a monarchist and you're a republicanist or whatever, you've got to admire their history um, to do with the royal family. So there you go. It's thank you very much, Barbara. You, you just went way out of your way. Reeves is going to love you forever. Shares your passion for baseball and you've got him cherry twizzlers. He might leave home and ask you to adopt him. <laughs> Um, which would be great because it's time you moved out. <laughs> and thank you to Karen in the US. You're always so lovely and thoughtful and kind with your comments. And Karen in Adelaide, I'd really like to meet up one day. You're just such a, an amazing person. You've given me so many tips over the years, so many nice comments, so much encouragement. And I thank you all for thinking of me on my birthday. So guys, I hope you have a great day and you get out and about and maybe you could have a crafty day too. Bye for now.